Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this flower blanket. Because of its gaps, this blanket is more decorative than protective against the cold. I have used 2.5 mm crochet hook and yarn weight too, but you can use wherever yarn you like. Leave likes and comments and do subscribe to my channel if you would like to. Let's start. So we will start with chain 4 and then we will slip stitch to the first chain. You can start with a magic circle if you prefer. I like to start it with chain 4 because I like the small gap in the center of the flower. So chain 4 and slip stitch to the first chain like this. Then chain 1. So we create a small gap inside the circle. Do not confuse it with chain 1. So this one is our small gap, not this one. And now we will make 16 half double crochets inside this circle. So 16 half double crochet inside this circle. Work around the tail so you don't need to save it inside later on. Once you've done your 16 half double crochet, slip stitch to the first stitch. So this is our first stitch, we will slip stitch. And cut the yarn. If you decide to work just with one color, you don't need to cut your yarn. Obviously, you can start with chain one, but we will change our color for to the pink one. So make a loop with a new color, with the pink one, and insert your hook into any stitch you like. Doesn't matter which one. So insert your hook, put that loop on your hook, tie it, and pull through the stitch. Just like this. And now chain one and you are ready to start with a new color. So we will make one single crochet into the same stitch. Then you will make two single crochet into the next stitch. And we will work in this sequence all around. So one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. Continue all around. You can hide these tails, you can work around these tails. So again, later on you don't need to save them inside. It is really, really massive time saver. So two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet. Then two single crochet and continue all around. And last two stitches into the last stitch. And once you finish, slip stitch to the first stitch. So here is your first stitch. So slip stitch. And we start round number three. So in round number three, chain three. One, two, three. Now skip next, next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. So chain three, skip next, skip next stitch, slip stitch under the next stitch, then slip stitch again under the next stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three, again skip next stitch and slip stitch into the next two stitches. And we will continue to work like this all around. So one slip stitch and second slip stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three, skip next stitch and then make slip stitch. So continue all around. I will see you when I finish my round number three. Last chain three, skip stitch and last slip stitch and that's it that's our round number three finished now slip stitch to that three chains gap 
So slip stitch inside this chain 3 gap. And now we will start round number 4. Chain 2. So we will work now inside these gaps. So chain 2 and now make a double crochet inside the same gap. So make double crochet in inside the same gap. And now we will make 3 triple crochets. So this is your first triple crochet. 1, 2, 3. Now this is your second triple crochet. 1, 2, 3. And this is your third triple crochet. 1, 2, 3. Now make a double crochet. Still we are working in the same gap. Now chain 2. And slip stitch into the same chain 3 space. So slip stitch into the same chain 3 space. And we will work like this in each chain 3 gap. So now we will slip stitch into the next chain 3 gaps, then we will chain 2, double crochet, 3 triple crochet, double crochet, chain 2, slip stitch. Then we will work into the next chain 3 gaps, next chain 3 gaps. We will work like this in all chain 3 gaps. So one more time. Slip stitch into the next chain 3 gap. Now chain 2. Make double crochet. Then 3 triple crochets. double crochet, chain 2 and slip stitch in the same gap. So continue all around. I will see you when I finish. When you finish cut your yarn and make as many flowers as you want. So as you can see first we will make a flower, then we will make the flowers, then we will uh, join them. So make as many flowers as you want and I will see you when you finish. And you can use any color you want, you can mix any colors you want. When you've made a sufficient number of flowers, secure them by waving all the ends. In my blanket I used a yellow color to connect the flowers, the same as the one in the middle. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera, but there are two different shades of yellow. Initially I wanted to join the flowers with green resembling the color of leaves, but I wasn't satisfied with the final result. I think it looked better with the yellow. So for the video I will use the green color because it doesn't blend with the background and will be more visible for you. But in the original project I used the yellow color. So one, two, three, four. I chain four and I'm gonna slip stitch to the first stitch. Then I will chain one. So exactly same like we start our flowers. And now I'm gonna make eight half double crochet inside the circle. So eight half double crochet inside the circle. Now before we start to join actual flowers, I want to show you how to make it. So we will make two single crochet into each stitch. So we will have 16 stitches all together. So in the first stitch, I will, will make single crochet. Then we will slip stitch to the first petal. And then we will make slip stitch into the same stitch. Then I will make just two single crochet into the next stitch. So one single crochet and second single crochet. And in the next stitch again one single crochet. Then I will jo join with next flower. And then se second single crochet into the same stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. Then again into the in next stitch one single crochet. Slip stitch to the third flower one single crochet. And two single crochet into the next stitch. Then one single crochet into the next stitch. Join fourth flower and single crochet into the same stitch. And last two single crochet into the last stitch. Then slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay, now we can start with the real flowers. So chain one, 
and make single crochet into the same stitch. Now place your flat flowers with right side facing you. Now take any flower and insert your hook into any petal. Like this, keep, keep it like this and slip stitch. And now make single crochet into same stitch. So here, single crochet. And now we will make two single crochet into the next stitch, just two single crochet. Now make one single crochet into the next stitch and now take out another flower and insert your hook into any petal. Remember right side facing you. So insert your hook into any petal, in the top of any petal. Slip stitch and make single crochet into the same stitch. Now make two single crochet into the next stitch. One, two. Make one single crochet into the next stitch. And take third flower. Insert your hook into any petal and slip stitch. And remember right side facing you. They should be all on the same side. And now make single crochet into the same stitch. And two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And we will take last flower. Join with any petal. Slip stitch, single crochet into the same stitch. And now make two single crochet into the next stitch, into the last stitch. And slip stitch under the first stitch, then cut your yarn. Now I will show you how to connect other flowers. So again, place them. Then chain four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch to the first stitch, then make eight half double crochet inside in the circle. So eight single crochet. And now slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one. And we will start with these two flowers. And we will skip if next petal, we will join it with these petals. These petals. So single crochet into the first stitch. Remember to keep your blanket on the right side and remember to skip one petal. So yes, we will connect our circle to this petal. Slip stitch and single crochet into the same stitch. And now to single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochet into the next stitch, then one single crochet into the next stitch. So one single crochet and now we will join with another petal. So I will skip next petal and I will join it here. So again, slip stitch. And one single crochet into the same stitch. And now two single crochet into the next stitch. Then one single crochet into the next stitch. I'm taking a next flower. And I will join it to any petal. And single crochet into the same stitch. 
two single crochet into the next stitch one two and last flower so single crochet into the next stitch I'm taking the last flower slip stitch single crochet into the same stitch and the last two single crochet into the last stitch then slip stitch and cut your yarn you can add your flowers from whatever side you want later on when you build it in the next row you will have already three flowers you will only add one more that's it i hope you guys liked the video if you did please leave thumbs up thanks for watching bye